Hey folks, welcome to the sixth in a series of seven videos where we look at the derivations that you need to know for the advanced higher physics exam. In this video, we look at how to derive an expression for lens coating thickness from the waves topic. So let's get going. Now in the waves topic for advanced tyre, we look at something called blooming of lenses, which is an application of interference by division of amplitude. And remember, blooming of lenses involves placing a special coating over a lens in order to ensure maximum light transmission through the lens. And in particular, this requires the destructive interference of any reflected light, i.e. cancelling out of particular wavelengths, so that we can ensure maximum light transmission through the lens. So you could be asked to derive an expression for lens coating thickness d, and the equation we want to try and get to is this one here, d equals lambda divided by 4n. So how do we get there? Well, what you want to do is first consider a ray of light moving from a medium of lower refractive index to one of higher refractive index, as shown in this diagram here. So in other words, we're going from a less dense medium into a more dense medium. And you'll notice we're going from air into glass, but we've also got this lens coating placed in between. So notice the air has a refractive index of 1.00, the lens coating has a greater refractive index of 1.38, and then the glass has the greatest refractive index of 1.50. So starting at air, the refractive index is increasing as we go through the materials. And you'll see we've got a ray of instant light coming towards the lens coating surface. So when the light hits this surface, it's going to do two things. It's going to be reflected and it's going to be transmitted. So if we think about the reflected ray, first of all, remember it's going to follow the law of reflection. So the angle that the ray reflects at is going to be the same as the angle that the ray of instant light came in at. Or in other words, if we were to draw in the normal here, we would see that the angle of instance is equal to the angle of reflection. And we can label that ray R1, the reflected ray R1. We then have some of the light being transmitted through the lens coating, and it's then going to reflect again off this second surface, and then it's coming back out parallel to that first reflected ray. So we can call this one reflected ray R2. And just like some of the light here was transmitted through, we also have some of the light at the second surface is being transmitted through, but we don't really need to worry about that in this derivation. We are more interested in the two reflected rays here. So the other thing that was labelled here was the thickness of the lens coating, which is what we are interested in. That's what we are trying to derive an expression for. Now it says here that there's a phase change of pi at both the coating and the glass surface. Since the refractive index of the glass is greater than the refractive index of the coating, which is also greater than the refractive index of air. So from the diagram, because our light is being reflected off this first surface, where we're going from a less dense medium into a more dense medium, or one of smaller refractive index into one of higher refractive index, then that means that the light's going to undergo a phase change of pi on reflection there. And we can say the exact same for the light going from a refractive index of 1.38 here into the glass with a refractive index of 1.50. So because again we're going from a smaller refractive index to a bigger refractive index or from a less dense medium to a more dense medium, then again we get another phase change of pi at this surface. So that means that our reflected rays here both undergo a phase change of pi on reflection. It then says that to produce destructive interference, the coating of thickness D must create an optical path difference between R1 and R2 of half a wavelength. So if we think about the light forming reflected ray R1, it's only travelling from the instant light here to the surface and then back up, whereas this reflected ray R2 is produced from the instant light coming in, travelling down through the lens coating and then back up, and then we've got the exact same distance travelling parallel to R1 there. So we can say that the optical path travelled by R2 is greater than R1, and the difference in the distance travelled by the two rays there is going to be this path difference here. So we can say that this is the optical path difference here, and this optical path difference must be half a cycle or half a wavelength out of phase in order to produce destructive interference between the reflected light. So in order for this reflected light at a particular wavelength to cancel out and therefore ensure maximum light transmission through the lens, these two waves need to be half a wavelength out of phase. So that means we can write this expression here, the optical path difference is equal to lambda over 2 or half a wavelength. But we also have an expression for optical path difference because we've just said that the optical path difference is this little triangle in here. So because the light has travelled down this distance d through the lens coating and then back up, we can say that it's travelled a distance of 2 times d, but then remember to get optical path difference, we need to multiply it by the refractive index of that material. So we would have 2 times the end coating times the distance d. So my optical path difference there is 2nd, which we have here. So we can say that the optical path in the coating is equal to 2 times n times d, 
where D is the lens coating thickness and N is the refractive index of the lens coating, and that means we can replace the optical path difference here to say 2ND is equal to a half lambda, or half a wavelength. And therefore, to get an expression for the lens coating thickness D, we can divide both sides by 2N to get D equals lambda over 4N. And that 4 or quarter term arises because we've got a half to begin with, and then we've got a 2 on this side, so we're dividing both sides by 2. So that gives us the final equation for lens coating thickness, D equals lambda over 4N, where lambda is the wavelength of the light, and N is the refractive index of the coating. So just a quick recap, we want to start by considering a ray of light moving from a medium of lower refractive index to one of higher refractive index, or from a less dense medium to a more dense medium. So if you think about this diagram here, which really helps to sketch first of all if you're doing this derivation, or you may be provided with the diagram. So you'll see we've got air followed by the lens coating, followed by glass, and we've got the refractive index increasing in value as we go into the materials. We've then got the light reflecting off the first surface, being transmitted into the coating, and then reflecting off the second surface again. And we said that both of these rays will undergo a phase change of pi radians. And we said that that means if we want destructive interference to occur for the reflected light, then the thickness must create an optical path difference of half a wavelength between the reflected rays R1 and R2. And that means we could write optical path difference equals half a wavelength or lambda over 2, but we also said the optical path difference will be equal to 2 times the refractive index of the coating times the lens coating thickness D, because that's the difference in the distance travelled by the two rays R1 and R2. So we can write 2ND is equal to lambda over 2, and then rearranging for D we get D equals lambda over 4N. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.